Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Sims 4 Random Pets Labarkatory, where we mix and match the genes of different animals and follow along with their wild stories and their even more wild crossover hybrid offspring. And today, we return to our dragons. And not just any dragon, but dragon. The dragon. You know, that dragon from the series that shall not be named because I will admit it's not my favorite series, but I always thought that the love story between dragon and donkey was actually something very special. So imagine my shock when the other day as we crossbred dragons and Great Danes, I realized that we could make something really special happen. We could actually see what it would be like thanks to Kalino's wonderful mods to create the hybrid offspring of dragon and donkey in The Sims 4, which is not something I ever thought we could do, but thanks to her amazing custom content, we're gonna be able to make this happen. We're gonna be able to see what dragon and donkey would have if they had six adorable little donkets, dragets. I'm not even sure what we would call them. I know that they did in the smoothie series, so I'm also really interested to see if the hybrid offspring that they have here in The Sims 4 are going to look anything like the ones in the movie. So they could inherit everything from Dragon's wonderful scales, her wonderful wings, her claws, to Donkey's adorable little donkey face and his mane, his hooves, and his tail. So there's different kinds of tails that they could inherit. There's a lot that these little guys could end up having, and I have no idea like what color they might end up being. There's a lot of variation. I think this is gonna be really, really fun. And if you guys aren't familiar, the movie series is Shrek, and I'm sure that it was a sensation at some point in somebody's life if you were anywhere close to any pop culture over the last couple decades. I think it's still like ongoing in different variants to this day. And these two had a huge love story. This gigantic dragon fell in love with this tiny singing donkey, and they ended up having kids. It was quite the arc. Uh, quite exciting and I want to see what their babies are going to look like so they very the one thing that did stick with me from that whole series is that they really seem to care a lot about each other <laughs> which as I nannied and babysat and watched so much Shrek over the years I, I appreciated that little storyline and I always did wonder what their kids would look like and now we can actually make that happen so as usual my friends if you would like to join this experiment then be sure to leave your comments in the comment sections of our crossover videos because the random comments picker might choose you to become one of our new hybrid offspring just like it has chosen Da -na 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 -na. Let's do this. Let's do this. We're taking dragon. We're taking donkey. <gasps> what? And we ended up with a baby that looks nothing like them. <laughs> with Wolfie, I don't know. So Wolfie IDK, welcome, welcome to the little family. Uh, that's kind of adorable that we ended up with basically like a little puppy wolf where we had a dragon and we had a donkey. But don't let looks deceive you, my friends, because Wolfie may actually end up growing up into quite the unexpected crossbreed once we start having them age up and inherit the other genes that their parents have. So Wolfie, you are hairy. Very good for you. You are smart and you are a sleuth. So you are quite the clever little one, and I wonder if you're going to grow up to take to the sky, or if you are going to end up with hooves, maybe both. It's going to be really cool to see what Wolfie becomes. So oh, I'm so excited, you guys. All right, let's go ahead and have the next baby hatch. All right, come on, dragon, you can do it. Oh, look at that little cutie with the curly tail. Not the one we're after, but boom. <gasps> what? Look at that face. Oh my gosh. This is such an adorable baby. I did not expect this coloration either. But you guys, welcome to Greta. So Greta, welcome, welcome to the family. You are absolutely adorable. I have no idea what you're gonna grow up into. You have beautiful blue eyes. So Greta is jumpy, loyal, and adventurous, which is kind of a bit of a conflict. I can imagine this tiny one. I mean, I would be a little bit jumpy too if I didn't know if I was growing up into a dragon or a donkey or a mix of both. That would give me a lot to think about as a child. <laughs> but I like that she's adventurous, but she's still also pretty jumpy. So she probably wants to go on the adventures, just she's a little skittish. So hopefully, hopefully that'll work out. 
But all right, let's go ahead. These kids are not looking anything like I thought they would and see what the third one is going to be. All right, all right, hang on there. And another one that looks literally nothing like I thought they would. I really thought we would end up with some donkeys and with some dragons, but this mix is turning out different than I expected. And this is going to be Shyla. So Shyla, welcome to the family. I have no idea what you're gonna be yet. A little bit of patience while you continue to grow, my dear. And Shyla is a hunter who is adventurous and friendly. So she can probably help provide a little bit of that courage to her sister Greta. So hopefully that will go really well. All right, and then we have another dragon donkey combo for the fourth little baby. Ooh, are we gonna get one that actually looks like their mom? No, we got one with spots. <laughs> How are we? Literally not having anything close to what I thought we would. But welcome to Deborah. So welcome, Deborah. I have no idea what you're gonna grow up into. You could have wings, you could have just like hooves. We're gonna have to see. Whatever you're gonna grow up into, you inherited your father's singing voice because you are a vocal hunter who's a little jumpy. So a lot of these little babies are quite jumpy. That is very interesting. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and have another. Uh, uh, it's almost like they adopted a group of puppies at this point, just to be completely honest, and I'm kind of amazed that not a single one of them looks like the others. All right, dragon. What kind of baby are we gonna have this time? I mean, we could have one that looks like you. That was kind of the goal. But no. <laughs> How did we... How did we end up with another child that looks nothing like these two? Is this broken? Are you guys adopting? I think that they're just adopting. These aren't even their kids at this point. Oh my gosh. Not their genetic kids at least. Oh, here we go. Gray Wolf. Gray Wolf, welcome. That's kind of hilarious, Gray Wolf, that you are here as Gray Wolf plays. And we have Wolfie, I don't know. Wolves are a little bit of a common popular thing amongst our community, if you haven't noticed. Gray Wolf, you cannot give milk but you can be an aggressive, uh, playful troublemaker, which actually sounds like a very terrifying mix. An aggressive, playful troublemaker sounds like the kind of character that is just going to absolutely wreck everything in a good way. You need that kind of conflict to make for a dramatic story. So you, my friend, are the true blue troublemaker of the family. We'll have to see if you end up growing up with wings. I'm a little bit concerned about that. And then finally, with like nary a dragon nor a donkey coloration in sight let's go ahead and have the final baby this is hilarious you guys look nothing like nothing <laughs> welcome to guyun oh my gosh welcome little one you're an aggressive vocal adventurous little little pup and did we literally end up, I think we literally ended up with not a single one of these babies looks like the others. And not a single one of these babies looks either like Dragon, who I oh so meticulously painted to make sure that she looked the right coloration, or Donkey, who I believe is actually from Kalino's collection of animals. So, what? <laughs> Alright, alright kids. You ended up with some interesting genes. Maybe I shouldn't be questioning things when I'm breeding a donkey and a dragon together, but still. Let's go ahead and grow everybody up. I've got the dice at the ready. We're gonna see what you guys are going to grow up to be. And Wolfie, uh, IDK, I don't know. You know, I'm actually feeling like your name is kind of prolific or prophetic. There we go. Not prolific, prophetic. Because you don't really know what you're going to be. I don't really know what you're going to be. Only time and the dice will tell us. Okay, oh my gosh, the ears! The body, the tail! Wolfie, will you inherit your mother or your father's features? Let's see. Okay, Wolfie, bear with us here. You have ended up inheriting your mother's face. So those ears are actually going to vanish in the name of having really awesome horns. Um, I'm not really sure. We'll give you these horns. Those ones look really cool. And then you did not inherit the wings, but you did inherit the mane. I don't know if those two things can go together. I'm a little nervous that they can't. Oh, they can! <gasps> we can mix this! Look at this! 
Oh my gosh, Wolfie, look at you. So you didn't inherit the wings. However, did you get hooves or did you get horns? Let's see. So you actually ended up, let's scroll on down. You actually ended up with hooves. So you're actually going to have hooves too. Wolfie, you look so cool. And for a tail, you're actually gonna have your mom's tail. Like, that's gonna make things a little interesting. We'll just have to imagine that they're the same sort of golden color as the rest of you. But check this out, guys. This is what Wolfie has become. Oh, look at the snoot. What a smushed snoot. Like little fangs. I, this is kind of cool. I kind of like the little blonde look that we have going on. And I mean, you kind of look like, um, oh, a little bit like a bonitor, sort of. Clearly not a monitor, but it just reminds me of like maybe one of those demonic bulls that could just like bowl everybody over. So I'm quite impressed. I'm quite impressed. There you go, Wolfie. Now we know. All right, Greta, let's go ahead and see what you are going to grow up to have. And you, my dear. <gasps> oh, look at your little face. Greta's so cute and she's got those big ears too. All right, Greta has actually inherited mom's horns. Oh, look at that. That's, oh my gosh, your nose. Greta, your nose is so smushed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Greta, what? You kind of remind me of a, of a girl, like a girl crocodile with the big old long snoots and then the tiny little knob at the end of the snout. Greta, I do believe that you officially have passed the most flat face I have ever seen on any of our animals. I'm not sure what that's going to do for you. Maybe it'll let you get treats like out of little corners that people, other others cannot reach. But, uh, wow. Okay, Greta. <laughs> that's what Greta has so far. She has also inherited her father's mane, but not her mother's wings. So she too inherited like a nice little mane. That's really cute. So she's got that. And then she has inherited her mother's tail, so we can leave the tail. And she has inherited her mother's claws. <laughs> Greta! Okay, this is actually turning out really fun. I like this mix, you guys. You just don't know what you're going to get. And I had no idea you could combine the horns and that beautiful mane. That turned out really cool. All right, now we're rolling. Shyla, let's go ahead and see what you're gonna have. Shyla, you are actually going to have Dun, dun 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 the face of your father for what so we're actually going to have the uh what is a tempting oh my gosh she like has little little kissy pinch lips <laughs> which is attempting to be a horse face and she's gonna have the wings so we finally have our first one with wings oh Oh geez, this is actually turning out really weird slash cool. Everybody has little pinch lips in this family. I don't know how we managed to pull that off. And then we're gonna have dad's tail, which you've already got, and mom's feet. So there we go. Oh my gosh, Shyla. Shyla, look at you. Apparently this is what you get when you breed a donkey and a dragon. Look at that face. I don't know what has happened to their faces. I'm a little concerned about this. <laughs> Deborah, you're up. Okay, Deborah, you look like you might have a shot at actually having a normal face. You also have like a huge chest. You are ready to just like barrel somebody out of the way. And Deborah is going to have, let's do this. Mom's horns, huge nose. Okay, where all of her family has a really tiny pinch face, she has actually got some pretty good facial features. Uh, and then we are going to come down and give you... Where, where is it? We're gonna find... I know I just saw it. Dad's mane. So she did not inherit the wings, but she did inherit the really cool mane, which I think is pretty fitting. And then we've inherited Dad's tail, which you already have, and Dad's hooves. There we go. So Deborah is actually mostly donkey with a little bit of extra prickly bits, like the horns and some fangs. Very cool. All right, Grey Wolf, you're up next. Grey Wolf, you have inherited dad's facial feature. So not the, we're not going to go with the dragon horns. You have inherited mom's wings though. Oh, Grey Wolf. Can we, oh my gosh, we'll give you some gray wings. Look at that. 
That's this is just literally like a flying donkey. He's just kind of missing the colorations. This is awesome. All right, and actually, speaking of flying donkey, you're gonna have Dad's tail, which you've already got, and Dad's hooves. <gasps> yes, gray wolf, you did it. You're not a wolf. You're not really even gray, but you did manage to become a flying donkey for me, which is really what I wanted. I guess we could like breed up with a pig and do when pigs fly at this point. And Guyun, let's go ahead and have you with your unique traits. All right, last little one of the batch. You are gonna have your father's face. You're going to have your father's, there we go, mane. And you are going to have your mother's tail, which you've already got, and your mother's claws. So there you go. You are ready to like rip into something too. Look at you. But all right, guys, they look nothing like either dragon or donkey, which I find to be a little bit of a travesty. But I have to say, we have a flying donkey. I'm very happy about that. I can live with this. And I'm kind of majorly impressed by Shyla. Like, she looks really cool. Just this unique, unique mix of everything. And then Greta really cracks me up too, because like, look at her face. Look at her face. Okay, this was a fun mix. It turned out nothing like their kids in the show, and it turned out nothing like either of them. But they love their children no matter what, and that is what matters. So, all right, guys, if you could, do please leave a like for our little dragon donkey hybrids. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!